This video is on the graphs of four functions that you should be familiar with, and those are the constant function, the linear function, the quadratic function, and the cubic function. Let's take a look at each. The first is the constant function, represented by the equation f of x is equal to b, where b is a number. In this case, um, this would be the equation f of x is equal to 1. You'll notice that its graph is a horizontal line and in this case it goes through the y-axis at the point y equals 1. What this means is that no matter what value we assign x, y is constantly going to be equal to that same value. y is always going to equal 1. So when x is negative 2, y is 1. When x is negative 1, y is 1. When x is 0, y is 1 y is going to constantly be 1. So the graph of a constant function is a horizontal line. Linear function you may be familiar with. That's f of x equals x, and that's the graph of a line. This one, written as f of x equals x, is also called the identity function, because whatever value you put in for x, you get the identical thing out for f of x or y. So my points are going to be 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2. Identical identity function. The quadratic function is f of x equals x squared. You may have seen it written y equals x squared. So whatever value you put in for x, you square it and you get your y value or your f of x value. So for example, when x is 2, 2 squared is 4 and gives me this point right here. Cubic function takes your input value of x and raises it to the third power. It cubes it and gives you f of x. So when z x is 0, 0 to the third power is 0. When x is 1, 1 to the third power is 1. And although it doesn't fit on this graph, when x is 2, 2 to the third power is 8, which would be somewhere up here. So a cubic function cubes the value of x to give you f of x. These are called parent functions because this is the basic function for the constant, linear, quadratic, and cubic functions. Now you may not have seen all lines uh, look like the identity function and go through 0, 0. You know, you've seen a line y equals 3x plus 2. These are transformations of the parent function, and they change the original function in one or more of the following ways. A translation is when the graph is moved up or down, left or right, and this is done by adding or subtracting a number either inside or outside of the function. A function can also be dilated, it can have a dilation, and that means that the graph of the function is stretched or compressed either vertically or horizontally. And this is done by multiplying the function by a number. Graph can also be reflected, a reflection. This means that the graph is flipped over either the x-axis or the y-axis, and this is done by multiplying the function by negative 1 either inside the function or outside of the function. So as you take a look at the unit application and start to build your function family booklet, you're going to see how these different transformations change the parent function from its basic function.